Democrats are hoping to flip North Carolina back to blue for the first time since 2008 and just the second time in nearly 50 years, a half century. Recent polls show President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden in a statistical dead heat. More than four and a half million absentee ballots have already been cast in that crucial swing state. Chris Van Cleve is in Raleigh, North Carolina. Chris, good morning to you. What have you been hearing? What have you been seeing? Tony, good morning. There was a line outside this polling place in Raleigh on a very cold morning, about 30 people waiting for the polls to open at 6.30 this morning. We've seen a steady pace of people coming and going, and election officials believe there will be a record number of votes cast in North Carolina this year, perhaps more than 5 million. The vast majority of those are going to come in the form of early voting. The early vote alone has nearly equaled the 2016 total. Almost 4.6 million voted early or by mail-in absentee. That is a record here. Turnout so far is at about 62 percent. Democrats have outperformed Republicans in early voting by over 5 percent. President Trump made, by our count, his 14th campaign visit to North Carolina yesterday to rally supporters one last time to get out and vote. I really believe that the direction we were going to with the Democrats were not the right direction. I believe in defending the police. I believe in defending America. Are you concerned about uh, the outcome here? Do you feel like he has it in the bag? Well, I, I, I take nothing for granted, but I, I feel the momentum is definitely on his side. And I think, you know, we saw this in 2016. The polls showed him that, you know, there's no chance he was going to win. But uh, by the end of the night, I think a lot of the uh, people that don't show up in the polls show up the vote. And uh, I think you'll see that again, especially in North Carolina. Polls here show the race very close, so there could be several key factors that end up being the decider here. You have an incumbent Democrat governor on the ballot. You have a strong Democratic challenger against a Senate incumbent. That could move turnout. We're also watching the changing demographics here in North Carolina. They have hundreds of thousands of more registered voters now than in 2016. And, of course, what happens with the minority vote? It was crucial for President Obama to win here in 2008. But that turnout has declined in the last two elections. Gail? Got it, Chris. Thank you.